Let's see what France has to offer. French experts showed a stealth ship concept at the Euro Naval 2022 exhibition. She's called Blue Shark, and according to her creators, this is how warships will look like in the future. Three features stand out in particular. Several hulls at once, low observable technology like in stealth planes, and eco-friendliness. About 20 technologies will help reduce CO2 emissions by about half compared to an ordinary frigate. The ship will also carry all kinds of unmanned vehicles, like aerial, underwater, and surface drones. And the main weapons will be missiles, but they don't specify which ones or how many. Now some figures. The ship is 160 meters long, about 37 meters wide, and has a displacement of 5,500 tons. Let's stay in France, where Bugatti is thinking about how to surprise the market. Talks about a new car have been going on for a long time, but the company doesn't know what it wants. For example, in 2019, there was news about the world's most expensive crossover. But in 2022, the company said that there will be no crossovers in the next 10 years. Also in 2019, there was a lot of talk in the press about a 1,900-horsepower electric motor. But the company responded that no electric vehicles were in the pipeline either. So all we can do now is look at some beautiful pictures. Here is a concept called the Bugatti Spartacus that combines classic Bugatti design elements with the company's vision of the cars of the future. Next, an armored submarine inspired by Greek mythology. It's called Kronos and is suitable for both civilian and military markets. The specifications are as follows. A capacity of 11 people, a maximum underwater speed of 50 km per hour and a surface speed of 80 km per hour, a maximum diving depth of 250 meters, a 1200 horsepower diesel electric engine, and adaptive lighting, air conditioning, and slots for torpedoes. The design is simple. The manta ray shaped submarine uses less energy when submerged, is more stable, and saves fuel. At the moment, the team is taking orders. The estimated cost is $1.5 million. We have no idea who they're building this crazy machine for, analysts frankly admit. This video wouldn't be complete without some revolutionary products, would it? Today, Canada is responsible for them. In 2022, the fifth mode of transportation was presented there. The concept is called the Flux Jet and offers transportation of passengers and cargo through vacuum tunnels at a speed of over a thousand kilometers per hour. It clearly resembles Elon Musk's Hyperloop, but Canadian experts talk about their brainchild as a breakthrough and note that Canada's GDP will grow by $19.2 billion during its construction. The cost for passengers to travel on the flux jet will be 44% less than the cost of a plane ticket. In addition, the company believes that the flux jet is very profitable. It allows you to adjust the number of passengers and cargo pods, which means that it's possible to make the most of the infrastructure. Here is another concept of the vehicle of the future that would leave Corbin Dallas without a job. After all, almost everyone will be able to fly in these pods on their own. In the future, an autopilot system will be added, and in case of problems, there is a parachute system. Technically, this is an eVTOL, an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It boasts six engines, three sets of batteries, and a triple degree flight control system. The overall design can be summed up in the phrase, simplicity of the future. It's a comfortable vehicle without distracting elements, because the pod is also made to admire the nature. And flying it to work is a real pleasure. Goodbye traffic jams, hello more hours of sleep. The concept was praised at the Design Intelligence Award. 
The team has already raised about $1.5 million in funding and reported several orders. Let's continue our stroll through the Design Intelligence Awards and take a look at another project that has received praise. It's a product to improve water safety, something very relevant, because according to the WHO statistics, every year around 372,000 people drown. And more than half of them are swimming in deep waters, ignoring possible dangers, the creators of these drones add. If they are networked together, one person can effectively monitor a large area of water and spot trouble immediately, as the drones are equipped with infrared cameras. The closest drone in the network flies to help, dropping a capsule with a lifeline and preventing a tragedy. The best way to predict the future is to create it. This quote has been attributed to various personalities, and it has also motivated an Indian designer. He imagined how Tesla cars will look like in 2050, and transferred his idea into a 3D model. The only requirement, besides having tons of money, is having a home helipad, he explained. In terms of design, the vehicle retains the stylish minimalism of current Tesla cars but with wings and new engines. The vehicle's designed for elite passengers, but it operates in semi-autonomous mode. Apparently, it's a pleasure to fly it. Imagine an ordinary SUV. Surely something like the Toyota Land Cruiser came to mind, which means that you have a preconceived notion of what this type of car looks like. The Thunder Truck project is trying to change that. This 4x4 version offers 644 kilometers on a single charge, 800 horsepower and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration in three and a half seconds, 37 centimeters of ground clearance, and huge bat wing solar panels that also act as an awning. If this car is ever mass produced, it'll cost buyers about $70,000. Let's go to Saudi Arabia, where they want to build a huge cubic skyscraper by 2030. Consider the scale. The Eiffel Tower is 300 meters high, while each of the skyscraper's sides is 400 meters. In addition, an area of 19 square kilometers around the skyscraper will be transformed, so the architects will have space for creativity. Shopping centers, theaters, museums, an opera house, a university, science laboratories, 9,000 hotel rooms, and an inner spiral tower will be built for guests and residents. The skyscraper will be the hallmark of Riyadh and will create about 334,000 new jobs. In addition, the project fits perfectly with the Saudi Vision 2030 program to make the country's economy less dependent on oil. Expectation The sneakers from Back to the Future Reality Crypto Kick Sneakers Which may be even more interesting. They feature AI options, automatic lacing, accelerometers, haptic feedback, gesture control, and support for the Move to Earn system. Simply put, owners will be offered to perform different quests and be rewarded with cryptocurrency. The sneakers are charged wirelessly, and they also have an NFC chip, just like bank cards and many smartphones. About 19,000 pairs of shoes are available. They come in four colors, and prices go from $450 to $1,333. However, only buyers from the US can buy them because of laws regarding the selling of these type of products. Deliveries will start in May of this year. Hydrogen power has been in and out of the zeitgeist several times over, mainly due to infrastructure and technological constraints, the authors of this concept note. 
But what if, instead of petrol and electric engines, everyone invested in hydrogen engines? This concept could become a reality. It's a motorcycle that runs on hydrogen. The design started with the transmission, and only then they moved to the other parts. That made it possible to achieve both ease of setup and a rather unusual design. In addition, hydrogen is very environmentally friendly, making the vehicle even trendier. In addition, this chemical element is the most common in the universe, so hydrogen power is much more promising than we think, the authors conclude. Remember what the drawbridge of a medieval castle looks like? This is the simplest example of kinetic architecture. Some parts of the buildings and structures can move relative to the rest. The same principle inspired this pod concept house. The revised conception of the home finds itself somewhere between garage doors, flowers, and the survival mentality of a turtle, the designers write and adds that it's a great option for regions prone to thunderstorms and tornadoes. Is the wind getting stronger? The capsules drop below ground level. Is the weather getting better? Lift them back up and enjoy the views again. If you build a whole neighborhood with these houses, they can be linked to a single network and quickly protect residents from weather disasters. And the goal of the project is to design entire cities that are resistant to the elements. Volkswagen and Renault have also shown some interesting concepts. Both automotive giants showed their own pod cars. Interestingly, these unusual vehicles were made for two different competitions, but the results were very similar. Both feature magnetic levitation, compact dimensions, rounded bodies, and two passenger seats. Renault, however, has a couple of aces up its sleeve. First, its pods can be used for haulage. And second, the pods can be connected to each other, allowing you to create a truck, a bus, or whatever else you want. Volkswagen responded with a pod car that can be charged on the go and features an automatic crash avoidance system. A reasonable question is whether all of this will work when it snows. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.